And howdy howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel, Vorbithrax here, it's cataclysm time, it's cataclysm time. First though, I gotta go push a few buttons. I'm gonna go push some buttons. Alright, push that button, and then go here and push that button, and then go there and push that button. Alright, notifications are sent, and um, don't need that anymore. Looks like that's working. Yeah, I think we're all set. Got everything up to date, and uh, we're good to go. Oh, what's going on? Happy Friday. What were we doing? We were getting drunk. Uh, we were getting vaccinated. We are getting high. Taking antidepressants. Killing pain. Getting irradiated. <laughs> all sorts of stuff going on, apparently. Uh, so much stuff. What day is it? 60, only day 67. Still early in the challenge. Well, early in the time frame, anyway. That'll work. We'll just leave this open, I guess, while we uh, give a few people a chance to show up before I get started. We'll be, I think, diving right into this one. What time is it? Almost 8 in the morning. Ah, man, I, I always forget what my day-night cycle is. I don't remember if I'm... I just slept or not uh we need to make the run so the plan is to make the run south we'll see if we can push this humvee south 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 <laughs> south and then more south and then more south somewhere somewhere in this area probably i'm not sure how close i'll try to get to the hospital but we're gonna go for that hospital next once we got that one complete, I'll probably then pull back around up to here, and then we'll try to make the push up to this hospital. And that will finish this side of the map. The next closest then is that one. And I might save this one for the very end. That'll give us one, two, three. This would be the fourth. And that's the... wait, we had six, right? Uh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Uh, is there another one? Was there just five? I thought I had six. Hmm. Am I misremembering? Maybe I'm misremembering. I know we had the one there. We did that one. And we came over. And we just did that one. That's two. That's three. This is four. Yeah, we got six. So we've done uh, two, then we got the two big ones on this side is four, and then the middle one is five, and then the far southeast one is six. All right, got it. So those two are going to be the last two. I'll probably leave that center one for very last. We'll try to loop around, work our way down through here, like so, and then like so, and then like so. So we can, we can use our existing vehicles to get to five out of the six hospitals, without hugely excessive attempts to drive through city streets. So we'll uh, we'll leave that one for last. All right, there you go. That's the plan. See how quickly we can get it done. We might be able to finish up, since I'm not trying to skill up or anything, um, depending on circumstances. You know, circumstances, that thing that adds emergent gameplay value. Uh, we, we could theoretically get it done by Monday? Tonight's stream and then Monday's stream. If I can get two of these done tonight and then two done on Monday, I think we might be able to wrap this one up. We'll see. Depends on a few things outside of my control. All right. Back to that screen. So, uh, hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm Mr. Vormithrax. This is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Continuing our uh, Lumberjack Challenge. Lumberjacked. With Ball Punion, the first. We have not died yet, so that's good. All right, let's cut some faces off. Uh, there's probably a little bit of face cutting going on. I'm pretty indiscriminate with my axe swinging. <laughs> we're, 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 we're a whole lot of thud and blunder in this run. Uh, not much finesse involved in how we're going about things. We're fairly well equipped by this point as well. Our accoutrement uh, is, is, is strong. Pretty strong. So, yeah, bar boot helm, chain mail, 
tactical gloves, axe ring holster for our axes, plate armor, our diver's watch, our headlamp, our beloved leather backpack, and an M27 with a backup magazine fully loaded. For emergencies, we're trying to use our axe most of the time. And then we got a few Molotovs. I haven't used them enough yet. I need to use them more often. They'll come into play now because we're going to switch over to nighttime rating. Now that we've got our uh, Sam Fisher cosplay ready to go. A.K.A. Light M Goggles. So now that we've got those, we can uh, switch over to uh, nighttime activities without uh, consequence or issue with the moon being full or not. Um, uh, we have our requisite bottle of whiskey, keeping them alcohol demons away, and a gallon jug for some gas, <laughs> if we come across a gas source. We'll take advantage of that. Alright, so yeah, there we are in all our glory. I'm not wearing my, oh, I didn't bring my, 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 uh, my hockey mask. Forgot to bring my hockey mask down. Damn it. Brought the useless gas mask, the damaged gas mask that doesn't keep the gas out, <laughs> but I don't have my hockey mask. That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, there's your problem. <laughs> environmental zero, environmental one. Wow. Okay, that got, uh, yeah, protection values are reduced by damage. <laughs> Severely reduced by damage. This thing's a piece of trash. It's not going to protect against anything. Uh, might as well just toss that out the back. Uh-oh, Vin the Dirt is, uh, courting zombie dog's love. Somebody loves you, zombie dog. I don't know why either. I don't know. They're weird. What you staring at me for? <laughs> Come here. We can't go 10 minutes into the series nowadays without somebody giving you your treat. These people got too many points on their hands. I'm going to have to raise the price of the zombie dog treats. Make it a little more competitive. What do you think? What do you think, zombie dog? 100000 for a zombie dog treat? <laughs> Is there any trains in CDDA? There are. You can find trains in the subway tunnels. There are subway tunnel trains. And they are even drivable to some extent. They're 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 pretty weird. I mean, they can move, but they constantly run off the tracks. If you go around corners or you have uh, converging tracks, it's really easy to run those things right off the rails. So, the few times I've found working ones, it's been rough. Y'all set there, zombie dog. <laughs> Well, see, if I say I'll wait for you to get enough points to get that zombie dog treat, then what happens is you get yours, then I say I'm going to change it again, and then the next person steps up and says, No, I'm so close. Wait for me. See, somebody has to take it. Somebody has to take it for the team. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll make it a community effort. That's what I'll do. I'll make it 100,000, but I'll make it a community goal. <laughs> that way multiple people can... Uh, and join in in the, the make zombie dog fat and lazy uh, ritual. <laughs> huh, old man? Yeah, you know, you're already fat and lazy. You started that way. All right. Uh, let's get things rolling a little bit. We don't want to go too long. I don't want to court those YouTube comments. Um, so our status is, eh, we're okay. Fairly questionable. We got a little bit of damage. It would be nice to heal up, but... Um, we don't have imperfect, uh, imperceptible healers, so healing's not really that difficult for us. Um, so I'll probably just get things moving. So the plan is, as I, I mentioned a minute ago, we're going to go south. I think instead of going along here, I'm going to try to just go straight south down this road. It's just, just, just bulldog straight on through. This is where it gets sticky. We've got to make this turn, and we've got to hope we can either dive through this corner... Or that uh, we can do a maneuver like this or like this to get out into this clear area. So that's step one of the plan. So then we can kind of wend our way further down south. But we're going to go for the southern hospital first. I'm going to go for this one. Because it's close. I can get the vehicle closer to it is the reason. I can get the vehicle pretty close, I think. And uh, be in reach of the few items I'm bringing with me that we might need. 
But uh, we'll hit this one, and we'll figure out if I want to hit anything else local. Uh, there's not too many more things I can think of that we're going to need for this challenge. There's not much else I can really layer on this guy that's going to make any difference here in the short term. Um, it's actually probably pretty strongly in my benefit to just get it done quick before evolution starts kicking in any kind of surprises. Um, so we'll probably just try to bulldog rush our way right through this and uh, see if we can get it done without too many more additions. So that's the plan. And then maybe next week we can have a new challenge. Um, back on hard mode. Back on uh, really difficult world. I don't know how I'm gonna I'm gonna square the difficulty settings with the normal challenges that I do though. It's it's kind of hard with um, how difficult it is now to pursue any kind of mutations or CBM stuff with the CBM stuff in such flux with the exity changes and us being in the early stages of that, and then science labs being so horrendously rare. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll make an exclusive. Let's try to deal with the subway tunnel labs. Uh, type of challenge and see if we can uh, work our way through that. I'll make it hard but not double the zombies because those stupid places are ridiculously packed with zombies to begin with and when I do double zombies it just it, it's just <laughs> unmanageable. It's just wall-to-wall -wall enemies in those places. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think it through. All right. Um, one thing to note, I did check the patch notes. Uh, you can now make the changes to your controls that will allow you to reset the drop menu back to the old way where you just use the right arrow to select and deselect. And it will not destroy your other arrow keybinds for the other screens. So feel free to, uh, to, to jump on into the, the screens here and, and update them appropriately. So... Uh, next column, previous column is just, I'm using the left arrow to change my columns just like before. And now we have a mark, unmark, selected item. I'm using the right arrow like before. So we're able to set it and it does not any longer interfere with, uh, using it like we used to previously when they first made the change, you could do that, but then your right arrow would no longer work in many of the other menus. <laughs> so the main menu, you couldn't move to the right with the arrow keys, uh, you yes no prompts you couldn't move right so it broke the binding for the arrow for a bunch of other screens basically uh but that doesn't happen anymore so that's the only thing of note that that i was concerned about in the updates between monday and today i didn't notice anything else dramatic uh that had occurred there may be a few things but it seemed pretty 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 tame or stuff that i don't deal with or mod stuff mostly so uh that's the big news Let's see. Other than that, um, I think we're good to go. Ah, we're still in the, basically, if I'm going to melee fight, just drop my backpack and start whacking. Um, we're pretty well protected. We're, we're only mildly geared up. If you missed last episode, at the end of last episode, that is, we have our primary stockpile of stuff parked in a vehicle right there, which, for whatever reason, I didn't mark. My stuff. Stuff is here, you big dummy. All right, so uh, so we just tottered our way down the trail, and uh, we had picked up a Humvee somewhere in this area, and we're using the Humvee to, to transition this lower section. Uh, I might be able to get the Humvee out. <laughs> I suspect it's going to get shredded uh, in this trip down south, and we'll have to find some other equipment, so I'm loath to bring too much stuff with me, because I think we're going to just blow this vehicle up. Or it's going to get overrun by uh, zombies. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the potential danger. All right. Um, doo -doo. Try not to pick a joke weapon with the mega zombies. <laughs> no. If I'm going to try to make a let's go raid subway labs type of a challenge on hard difficulty settings, uh, we're going to do a serious run at it. We're not going to be doing a, a boopinator foam bat run <laughs> in that circumstance. I'll have to think how I'm going to try to manage it. We'll see. Okay, uh, let's get moving. Actual gameplay starts at um, 15 minutes in. <laughs> so, what kind of gas we got? We got 5.7 liters. That'll get us down south and back again if I don't make any other diversions um, and such. So, we should be okay in that regard. Um, actually, I gotta, I gotta decide. Do I wanna, I wanna make the trip south in the daylight. 
As long as I can make the transition to this point and get into this open area, then I might make the rest of the trip in the dark. Because there's not much room down here where I can park the vehicle without get high likelihood of getting uh, visitors while I'm waiting for night or sleeping or so on. So we may stay somewhere out here and then do the final leg in the dark. Uh, I'm not sure. Hey there, Roger Dimitro. Thanks very much for the Prime sub. I do appreciate it greatly. Um, all right, let's go. So I'm basically just going to go straight south. I debated following the wall <laughs> along the ro the wall road here and then cutting across, but I think I'll just go straight south. I don't think it'll really help me all that much. Charge! <laughs> right into a wasp nest. <laughs> so many wasps. Oh, I hate it so much. They still haven't dialed these things back. Ugh. Can't believe these things. Let's add a supremo ultimate nasty predatory <laughs> animal creature that can dig through car vehicle walls into the vehicle to kill the enemy. Are super fast, are poisonous, are super dodgy, are small. <laughs> Let's give them all the advantages and then make them really common. Put them all over the world. Why not? <laughs> Uh, these things are so terrible. And let's also infest uh, about 50, 60%. What do you think the what do you think the percentage is? 60% on uh, wasps in the radio towers now. But let's also slow down everybody's progression by putting a uh, ridiculously powerful enemy on top of all the radio towers. <laughs> no radio towers for you. All right, um, I think I'm going to kick the speed up, and we're just going to cruise south. I'm just going to run things over. I'm not going to try to use too much finesse. I need to avoid diagonals, that's why. I'm just going to power through everything I can, only turn if I've got an opening with nobody nearby, because we need to avoid anybody stepping into the vehicle with me. So, we got a solid exterior in this vehicle, so as long as I stay orthogonal in my, uh, my movement... <laughs> Then uh, we can do this without picking up hitchhikers. So now I will slightly turn. Uh oh, that's gonna be a little little odder. I gotta make, I gotta slalom between these and then come back across again. So hopefully nothing wanders into this area while I approach. Because I'm gonna have to slow down and make this transition. Few zombies down there. Uh, I got plenty of lead up. I could go straight south and then come across. Yeah, let's keep going like that and then come across. Looking good. Most of the way through already. One more intersection to get through. I guess I should have looked. I don't think there were any buildings I cared about. Hey, we're right next to the liquor store. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. Why is the liquor store boarded up? What happened to the liquor store? Hmm. I haven't really paid much attention to liquor stores. Are they on the uh, slowly get turned into looted? Or is that just one of the liquor store variants where everything's boarded up? And you gotta go in after it. Hmm. Still looking pretty clean. Uh-oh. We got uh, a thug. Anne-Marie Bonus Carrington and Stanley Turkey Lincoln <laughs> hanging out in the... Uh, they probably have a, a, a smuggling hole. They have a, a hole through the wall here smuggling stuff into the, the city. Uh, that's what I'm going to... I'm going to believe that. I'm going to believe that. <laughs> They've dug a tunnel. They've got a tunnel going under the wall and they're now uh, bringing in black market goods to sell to the four other live humans <laughs> that are in the city. Alright, still going straight south. Uh, we've got almost nothing near us. Yeah, nothing can see us currently. Those guys are going to chase me for a bit, so they would uh, eventually catch up to me. So we'll keep going. Uh, we got an ambulance and a tow truck. 
Mission zombie. I should have put my axe away. It's not good to travel. Not good to travel through a city like this with your iron weapon in your hands. Yeah, with your steel weapon. <laughs> it's not good to, to do this with your steel weapon in your hands. Because you're not going to notice when you happen to drift too close to a, a technician. There's none out here. But uh, you'll drift to it next to a technician and not realize it. And he'll yoink your weapon while you're paying attention to where you're driving. And then you'll, you'll arrive at your destination weaponless. Two baskets of stuff, huh? All right. We can stop real quick. We got room. More into Whoa! 20 tramadol! There's quite the score. Antiseptic, 20 tramadol, and another first aid kit box. Hell yeah, we'll take all of that. That was quite the random score. Alright, here comes the tricky part. Now we gotta go this way and hope that we've got a. Uh, uh, we can get through the angle here between this house and the trees. And if not, that I can back up and then switch to come this way. And I might try, I might ignore this depending on what we see when we get close to it. So, uh, yeah, this is not a good arrangement here. I think I'm going to loop these guys out a little bit. We'll let them come to me. We'll bring them up. So what I'm doing is these guys have spotted me. I don't want them in this position. I want them to come north a bit. So I'm going to draw them up, and then I'm going to swing around, and then we're going to take off down this roadway. It's all about position uh, positioning and timing. Perfect. Cleaned up the route I wanted to take. Look at that. Uh, now we have another possibly icky spot. If I go high, I gotta hit a whole bunch of zombies. If I go low, I gotta thread diagonally through here and then back out again if I don't think I'm gonna make this. And I won't know the answer until I get here. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta commit to the southern route. When I get here, I'll be able to see this little transition point down here. Yeah, we'll be we'll be sitting here so we'll be able to see what this looks like and then I have to immediately determine whether I'm going to try to make that or if I'm going to continue around well, let's come down to 10 eh, 12 we'll go with 12 and then 8 damn it well we can't do it now <laughs> the, the wreck is going to prevent me from getting through there all right so we're we're no longer considering the south I think I might have been able to make it. I still don't have a perfectly clean view. Yeah, I could have made it if it wasn't for the wreck. I could have come around, done a hard turn, and then out that way, and it looked like it would have been clear. So, a randomly placed wreck has, uh... Ooh, I didn't think I was going to be able to make that turn, that swivel. I wanted to hit the light post more than the vehicle, though, so I decided that was the better route. Now I'm trying to get straightened out before anybody can hop into the vehicle with me. Um, am I online to hit that thing? I don't think I am. Let's, uh... No, I'm going to hit that vehicle if I don't cut. Alright, south again. So, I'm cutting my speed when I'm making turns. You get more accurate pivoting of the vehicle, and then I'm speeding back up again once I've gotten back to the straightaway. You gotta be careful depending on positioning of the zombies and speed of movement of the vehicle versus the zombies and positioning of them. Sometimes I'll slow down, like right now I could slow down just a little bit because I've got a little bit of room on the sides. And that'll give these guys a chance to come towards me, which will open this lane up a bit. So I'm gonna back down to four. Those guys are gonna get a few steps towards me and I'll be able to swing around and hopefully uh, avoid them. These are the kind of things you learn and you know when you've done a lot of driving in the cities. <laughs> Which new players hopefully are not trying to do. That's pretty dangerous until you've got a fair bit of practice. Alright, now my lane has opened up pretty well. Now we're going to kick the speed up. I need to rush through to get past these guys before this crowd gets over here or I get gassed. So I'm going to kick the speed up to 24 and we're just going to blitzkrieg straight south. We're going to go 
I don't know. I might actually go all the way south. We'll see how it looks at each intersection. I might cut across. Alright, now we're going to back the speed down just a little bit again. So, if I go west, I've got to do a weird S-turn here. With one zombie. If I commit to the next intersection, there's a pool. Pool's going to be a high-capacity area. They may or may not step out onto the street by the time I swing around that corner. I, I kind of like the looks of how clean this is. I might risk picking up a hitchhiker when I make this turn. There's this low, low uh, volume over there. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Pivot. Speed up. Pivot back. And drive on through. Okay, we made it. So that is the bulk of the transition that we needed to do. No buildings nearby of use except for houses. I could probably do to pick up a little bit of food and water from the houses. I didn't bring much in the way of that with me and we'll need a little bit. Uh, we have an antique store, a small possibility of something useful popping out. Another pharmacy, but we're fairly well equipped. Two pharmacies, must be nice. I don't see anything else in this area that, in that interests me too much. No, Easton has three pharmacies. <laughs> and uh, a library and a bookstore next to each other. I wonder what that person was thinking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to assume the bookstore was there first and the library said, uh, screw you. Let's see. Keep pushing or... What do we got? Pavilion, public ponds. I don't see any high density zombie locations. No pool. Oh, nope, there's a park. Right behind the antique store. <laughs> so that's not great. There's another one right there. Those are high density zombie locations. Hey there, Cotillion. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Hmm. Well, let's just keep going that way. Wolves. Let's head over this way. Dog pack. Mm. If there's one dog in here, there's probably a bunch of dogs in here. Mm, dog and a zombie. No big deal, but I got plenty of opportunities to loot houses, so we'll back off. Uh, let me back up through chat here. Do 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 do. Who's been talking about what? What monster did they put on the radio tower? Uh, wasps. Giant wasps. And not the old kind of wasps you're familiar with. New kinds of wasps that are just absolutely ridiculously overpowered. I have never seen a brute on a radio tower. Not once. How's the DT's Lumberjack doing? Uh, pretty well. Doing just fine. What is the white border on the map? It's a giant wall. The entire area is walled in. We're stuck within a contained area.
Well, the bot likes links just fine. <laughs> For those select few that uh, can post them. Wish for a day when cars don't break apart when turning. Eh, I kind of like it, but, you know, I'm a masochist. I like the pain and the danger and the uh, the emergent opportunities for fun <laughs> when you get fun stuff driving along with you. It's had a few variations as time has gone by. Originally, when we had the... Well, we've had the problem for a long time, but when they started trying to address things with it, Enemies would step into the vehicle, but then they'd be frozen in place. So as long as they didn't step in directly adjacent to you, they couldn't move while you were moving. So you could just keep driving if they were in one of these far positions. Um, then they changed it so they can move while they're in the vehicle. And uh, there's more changes coming. So <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to the no crouching and no uh, going prone while driving. And it's my opinion you should also not be able to hold a weapon while you're driving. I think you should have empty hands when you're driving a vehicle. We don't allow hands to do different things in any other parts of the game. You're not allowed to hold your flashlight in one hand and your sword in the other hand. Um, we, we just don't have the concept of two hands or hands doing different things in the game. Um, and what that would do would make it a little tougher for while you're driving fending off the hitchhikers. You'd have to uh, actually let go of the wheel, wield a weapon, fight, and so on while the, the vehicle did its thing. But yeah, the no crouching is a good one. And the other thing, if uh, we had the no wielding items while driving, that would prevent the fun stuff like, oh, hey, look, I have this 700-pound uh, V12 engine. I'm just going to wield it, and then I'm going to drive it back to my house so that I can install it in my big vehicle. So you wouldn't be able to literally carry a 700 horse or 700 pound engine in your hands while you're driving around or riding a bike. You can do that if you didn't know. <laughs> I think there's a weight thing with bikes, though. I can't remember, but uh, I haven't done it in a long time. But you can definitely do it with vehicles. I've done it myself a number of times where I needed to relocate a super heavy item uh, back to my base and didn't have cargo capacity for it or whatever reason. And I just wielded it and then uh, drove back to my base. So you wouldn't be able to do that kind of stuff because you wouldn't be able to have anything in your hands while you're driving. So yeah, more changes coming. I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where they're going to fix that. Enemies can step into the vehicle on the diagonals, though. I think that's a pretty big, big thing <laughs> from what I've heard over time when people have tried to address it. I just bask in the miracle that is the vehicle system we have and live with the few annoyances that go along with it. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make an attempt to get anything here. Hey there, big pile of zombies. Oh, wait. Is that one of the houses with an underground lab? I think that's one of the houses that has a chance of an underground lab. So maybe we'll uh, kill some zombies and poke our head in and see if it actually has the lab. There's two designs, two house designs that have a possibility for a basement that has access to an underground science lab. Um, and I believe that's one of them. Gee, these guys are all piled up. They're going to show up at the same time if I try to kill them. They can't all see me, though, so let's uh, let's come over and hug the wall for a second. We'll draw these guys out. That will also have the effect of uh, spreading them out so I can kill them uh, without them all arriving simultaneously. Another important thing to realize and uh, to control. Always try to control everything you can with your encounters. So we're going to dump the leather backpack. I'm also going to dump the rifle. Gave myself enough distance and opportunity to prepare for the fight, so we're down to just my my fighting gear. Uh, I should have grabbed a new axe. I should have grabbed one of the clean axes, too. Our axe is slightly damaged. Otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. Only 12 torso encumbrance, 10 arm encumbrance, so those are the important ones for swinging weapons in melee. We should shred this stuff fairly easily. Come and get me, big dog. Next. He actually tried to bite me. 
He failed to penetrate the armor. All right, let's make a nice pile right here. You ruined my single pile. Oh, do I care? Do I care? I don't, I don't. Chocolate bars. All right, we'll eat a chocolate bar. Ooh, three chocolate bars. We'll have three chocolate bars then. And I'm just going to walk over and keep pulling and clearing. That's pretty much the entire rest of the crew. <laughs> oh, we left three behind. That's fine. All right, we had a couple of misses in there. Um, somebody brought me a beach volleyball. How nice of them. Oh, now two more decided to come in. Fine, be that way. Come get me. All right, just a tiny, tiny stamina loss. Otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. Can't think of too many things they could drop now that I would care about. That's possible to drop in standard zombie clothes. Uh, grab our backpack. Grab our M27. And let's go ahead and swap out Boopinator for one of the other ones. Come here, zombie child. Oh, what do we got? Cabbage, <laughs> grapes, old pears. Uh oh, tough zombie. Oh, we got three zombies. No Whoa. Well, hi, guys. Where were you earlier? I must have attracted some from over here and didn't notice. Uh, let's get to a proper fighting site. Oh, this is a good site right here. Perfect. From this position, they have to step into the window frame, which is uh, 400 movement points, or they have to step up onto the couch, which is 150, so I'd get a free swing at either one. And we're killing things in pretty short order. Hey guys, you lose track of me? Come on, get over here. A whole bunch of these guys. <laughs> They're all wasting their rock throws at the wall. <laughs> they can't tell that the, uh, the line of sight is not good for those throwing rocks. They were standing here and trying to throw a rock here, so all the rocks were hitting this wall. Silly feral humans with bad aim. Okay, get that done. A chemistry set. Any other time, I'd be pretty happy to see a chemistry set for most of the runs, but don't care in this one. Some codeine, more antiseptic. We are just drowning in antiseptic. Somebody else spotted me. All right, back to what I was doing. So, yogurt, uh, cheese. We'll just snack on a few of the other things. Yeah, we'll have some Imperial Stout while we're here. Lubricate the pipes. Coffee maker, uh, don't care. There's the stairs, so we have a basement. Is it going to have a science lab? More hydrogen peroxide. A wetsuit. And a 4x4 four four with... Too dark to see. I can stay in here and check it. Faulty starter motor. Alright. No big deal. 
Bottle jack. Ooh, long rope. Take a long rope. I almost never need anything in this survival kit. I mean, yeah, I know the game too well, but... Purification tabs, folding knife, flint and steel, lots of flares, the whistle. All right, let's uh, let's find out. Active headlamp. <laughs> I win! I win! I have won! <laughs> We're making moonshine? What are we making down here? Homebrew beer. 39 homebrew beer and uh, 20 dandelion wine. <laughs> eh, not bad. Pickled veggies. Apparently it's just a general food prep. Not purely the uh, the alcohol basement that we sometimes find. All right, we need none of that. Don't care. This looks like a metal wall. <laughs> no concrete, huh? White wall, concrete wall. Well, unfortunately, it does not have a lab. Damn it. I was hopeful. We did not get it. Uh, feral humans throw rocks at you. They're much more manageable now. When they first got added, they were they were th lobbing heat-seeking missiles. <laughs> they were they were throwing six rocks. They never missed. They always hit you in the torso, and they were hitting and doing damage through like tr through uh, survivor armor. <laughs> it was ridiculous. They were super super strong. They've been adjusted, so their rocks are much much more reasonable now. So they're not nearly as bad as they were when they were first implemented. Either Hedstrom, welcome. Purification tabs are faster than cooking, possibly. I, I've seen people use purification tabs. I don't remember myself. I, I know at some point in the distant past I have used them, but um, I don't have them very often, and I just have never cared, and there's so much water in the world that's clean to begin with, depending on your world settings and your challenge and all that, that I've never really bothered to notice or care all that much. All right, so let's, uh, let's keep moving. We, uh, we've had our hearts broken. No science lab for us. That is the design, though. I remember it by... It's a red brick building. I think both of them are red brick buildings. And they both have... They're different designs, but this one I remember because it has the pushed-out front bedroom and then the attached garage uh, kind of back a bit on the other side. And then it's kind of reversed on the other house. I think this side is pushed out a bit. It's a different design, like I said, but this one I remembered. Maybe I'll spot it and I can show it to you. All right, so we got some food items. Um, so I've mentioned it before. Who, who can name the one infinite source of clean water available in the game? There's exactly one that I'm aware of source of infinite clean water. You don't have to purify it, nothing. You can get an infinite amount of it instantly. Nope, rain is uh, not safe. <laughs> don't drink rainwater. Rainwater is just water. If it doesn't say specifically clean water, don't drink it. Unless you want to get the, uh, the consequences.
Last man on earth shelter water thing? No, that is not clean water. Murder of Phoenixes is correct. It's the military bunker water dispenser. So when you go into the, the new style military bunker, not the one that just has the cells with the weapons and ammo, but the one that's got the living quarters and the uh, auto dock and so on. Inside of that one, there's a kitchen. And just north of the kitchen, there's a little seating dining area. And there's a water dispenser in there. That's the only source of infinite clean water. As soon as you pull it out of the tap, it's clean water. And uh, it's an infinite amount. No other source I'm aware of will do that. I think I'm gonna hop out and check this vehicle real quick. Nope, no wheels. Ooh, steel jerry can of gas. Um, don't need a steel jerry can of gas. We're down to 3.2 liters of diesel already. Ouch. Uh, we might have to stop and actually do a little bit of sourcing for diesel at this rate. I mean, we're pretty much at a spot where I could hold here, wait for nights, and then we make the rest of the trip down. I try to get as close as I can with the vehicle. And um, then we go after the hospital. I haven't been to this version of the hospital before uh, since they've changed it, so not sure what to expect. Um, mill surplus that'll eh, may or may not be looted at this point. No other really hostile buildings nearby. What is this row? Gas station? Oh, it's an urban city block. That's right. Yet another pharmacy. So many pharmacy opportunities. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm not infected. Uh, let's see. Stop here or push further? Could push further. Try to get to like here. Clear out any zombies. I'll probably end up pulling some. I'd ra I, I want to leave this route clear because if I can drive down there now and things in the nearby houses and buildings see me, they're all going to come out and congregate in this open area that I'm trying to drive through. So I'd rather leave it clear until I head in. Hmm. Are hospitals good for di finding doctor's badges? I don't recommend f going to hospitals for any reason. <laughs> well, I, I haven't been to one of these versions since they've made the changes. So, But in the old versions, the hospitals were just death traps. Just insane death traps. Way, way too many enemies. And a lot of my memories are back before the changes to zombie... Um, what zombies we had in the world at the beginning of the game. Nowadays, we only have the basic low-level zombies until evolution kicks in and starts upgrading them. Back in the old days uh, that I have most of my play in, you would have hulks and <laughs> stuff inside the hospitals, and you'd get close, and they'd be knocking down the walls and just, just shredding the place. Um, and there were just too many zombies in there, so it was too dangerous to visit them for, really for any reason. There are other places to go to try to get them. So, decision time. Eight in the morning. Semi-low fuel. I think what I'll do is I'm going to pull forward a little bit. We'll, we'll hop out. We'll do some checking of the local area. See if there's any chance of getting some diesel. Is there a gas station near here? Gas station there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can grab a little bit of diesel. I don't need a ton. One jerry can worth would be good. So, um, I'd have to wear... I wouldn't be able to wear a backpack with the jerry can. Hmm. Do I already have an axe in the ring holster? Oh, I do. I got two axes now. <laughs> I think boop. 
No, I didn't put Boopinator in there. Move a little closer. <laughs> Instantly got zombies. Looks like a body site. Yeah, a bit of a body site. A boomer glutton. A boomer glutton. It's chat. It's chat. We got a an early chat. Where you at, chat? There he is. There's whoops. There's chat. Good old boomer glutton. Well, A few one shot kills in. Hey, chat. Well, that was interesting. What just happened there? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. So he spews bile. I dodged it. He vomits sludge. I'm trying to pull free. Then he got one, two, three attacks, one of which hit my arm and I actually got through for some damage and made me bleed. Um, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, he got through twice. He got, oh, that must have been a, he must have gotten past the 95%. He's, get, he's getting lucky. He's getting pretty lucky. <laughs> antibiotics. He actually brought me some antibiotics. I'll consider it. Alright, he just made a bunch of noise. Let's back off a bit. Get closer to the vehicle. We'll uh, get back to my, my gear. All right, so we took a little bit of damage. What do we got out here? Yeah, nothing too interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, let's get the vehicle closer. Did I pick up the antibiotics? I did not. I have no need for antibiotics. We've got tons and tons of the things. Including uh, multiple handfuls of the strong antibiotics. And a panaceus. <laughs> so... I don't think I'm carrying them with me. I think I left them up in the other vehicle. But you don't really need antibiotics when you've got lots of antiseptic. So they have to get a bite wound on you first, and then the bite wound has to go all the way through its many hours of processing. We can instantly cure any of that, so we have no uh, no need of antibiotics. Oops. Follow me in, zombie. Take advantage of the window frame. So again, for newer players, positioning is very important. If 
by moving to this position, I'm forcing the zombie to come to me. He's going to have to come through one of these windows. And uh, if you look up here, it shows 200 move cost for the window sills. So he'll have to pay a lot of points to move into those. I'll get a free whack or two before he does get to do anything else. So it's dead zombie and no danger to me, really. Another zombie. And I saw another one up there. So the mill surplus has got a few guys, but yeah, it's already eluded mill surplus from the uh, the graffiti. So we're not even going to bother to go look at it. All right. Uh, what else we got? Multivitamin. Somebody's in the house. He's he's calling from inside the house. Hey there, shock zombie. Um, yeah, come to me. We're going to do the reverse direction for this guy. And we'll swap positions for the other zombie coming down from the north. Or the south. <laughs> oh, that guy's not going to see me. Oh yeah, I gotta. I guess I should take a look for the uh, thermal electric outfit. If we get a couple of those. We we might be able to get one more level <laughs> into that lab we found. Stairs down is good. Always like to have options available. Take the butter and the cheese and the yogurt. I don't know why I grab yogurt. It's just sealed, sealed food. Um, you guys, you too many of you. Let's go not into the pantry. Um, I don't have any... I guess I could circle around and fight them on the windowsill or on the couches. Ah, or we could just repost them to death. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to not do that. One at a time, please. Oh, so many criticals. So many criticals. <laughs> 72 critical firefighter knockback. Stun the fat zombie. Critical. 68. So, flame-resistant gear. I'd love some flame-resistant gear, but uh, it needs to be clean. I'm not going through the process of cleaning the stuff up or trying to repair it. How's the pantry looking? Eh... Animal and vegetable cooking oil used to be the king of nutrition. Can't do it nowadays because somebody doesn't like fun. Keeps changing things. Every time I find something fun, they go change it. Oh, it's the cockroach basement. Oh, they didn't give me yet another uh, SWAT vest or SWAT suit. Wow, a lot of stuff in here nowadays. care about all right so we've got a basement we can retreat into if we need to this is gonna be the tough part transitioning across this open space here gonna put us in view potentially of a lot of enemies um i'm basically i want to clear the route then i'm going to come back and get the the jerry can we'll try to get over to the gas station so let's continue clearing the route. Dogs, children, um, let's 